Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ayesh Malayala. In this particular video, I am going to give you the details about VIT Phase Three allotment, and also I am going to uh, tell you the process, what you have to do after the allotment. So, what are the deadlines and all those stuff. So, without taking much time, let's get into the video. So, VIT Phase Three, you can you check your allotment. So, where you can check your allotment, you have to check it in your dash dashboard. So, I'll be leaving the dashboard link in the description. So, once after logging into dashboard, so you'll come to know which seat you got allotted and what is the advance. Fee you have to pay and what is the deadline you have to pay and which category all the stuff you will come to know so based on the category based on the campus based on the branch you got allotted according to that you have to pay the advance fee so the deadlines all the stuff i am going to talk as we move forward in this video and if you are someone who didn't got any seat in either one phase one or phase two or phase three if you didn't got any seat in either of the phases then you can participate in the council i mean phase four counseling don't worry for without paying any fee so whatever 5900 which you paid earlier so that is more than enough in order to participate in the next round if you didn't got any allotment in the previous phases but if you got any allotment you wanted to participate in the next phase that is not possible okay next thing is uh, please fill the google form so uh, i got a very good response for the data which i have shown for the last uh, uh, phase i mean phase 2 data which i shown for phase 3 people so the same thing i wanted to show the data for phase 4 people based on the phase 3 data so now you have to fill whoever got the allotment whoever didn't got the allotment so please uh, fill the google form link is in the description i will show you now how to fill the google form once after clicking the link in the description you will be taken to this particular uh, page please don't fill the google form wrong data in the google form so that will not help me that will not help any other students the main aim of uh, collecting the data is to help someone right so if you feel wrong data how can i help someone so please don't feel wrong data please i'm requesting you so just enter your name and rank exact rank exact don't keep 71k 72k exact rank okay and which campus you got allotted and which category you got allotted if you click on this uh, button like all the campuses will be there and if you click on this uh, drop down menu you will be getting all the options right next thing is which branch you got allotted if you click down like every branch is there here so based on the data you fill so for the phase 4 students it is going to be really helpful so please fill the proper data and also this data will be modified and helped for the next year students so if you still want to check the cutoffs of uh, last year data so i'll be leaving this video link in the description you can watch this video the video link is also in the description so you'll also get to know each and every branch data which i collected last year so this is how i'm going to help the next year students so for that i need your help so let's do it together please fill the proper data okay so this is about the google form so what are the exact dates of phase 3 so basically we are here like whoever got rank between 45,001 to 70,000 rank so they got allotment today the th july 2022 so from today till 4th august you have the time to pay advance or full fee payment depends on the branch and depends on the situation so they will be asking you to pay the some amount if it is full amount it is full payment if it is just part of your total fee then it is advance fee and the remaining fee balance fee you should pay before august 18th so if you miss out any of the deadline like 4th august or 18th august your seat will be cancelled you will be out of the counseling so this is the fees for example if you got uh, a group a program so we as we know vid has divided its groups into group a and group b so based on the fees the, there is a there is a difference between the fees in group a and group b for example let's say you got a uh, biotechnology category 3 in vit will let's say example okay biotechnology will come under group a category 3 okay category 3 fees is 3 lakhs 43 thousand total fee in which advance fee which you have to pay before 4th august is 2 lakhs so the remaining fee which you have to pay before 18th august is 1 lakh 43 thousand so this is how it's going to be there so for example if you got any something like csc related course in that case that will be in group b for example let's say you got uh, category 2 in vit ap let's say so that means total fees is 3 lakhs 7 thousand okay in that you have to pay 2 lakhs as advance fee and balance fee before 18 August is 1 lakh 7 thousand so this is how the fee payment will be there advance fee and balance fee so whatever category you got allotted whatever branch you got allotted accordingly the fees will change they will show you how much you have to pay so now i'll add a small clip which will help you to understand how you have to pay the advance fee so the, it, it will be easy so seat allotment go there so if you see this is how congratulations you have provisionally admitted to btech csc at vit ap under category one so no changes of campus or program will be entertained so if you have to for paying the fee just click here 
please do share the google form with all the friends who have participated in the phase 3 counseling of vit triple 2022 so that data which you are going to fill in that is going to be helpful for the further students so please help me in this and also help the other students who are waiting for your data so then guys that's it for this video if you find this is a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind